Hello and welcome to City Tracker. My name is Adam and I'll be your guide as we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Alpaca Bravo Sling Max. Let's check it out. This is a special edition of City Trekker. I'm traveling right now, but this sling is on Kickstarter and it ends like today or tomorrow. So I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible. So since I'm at the airport, I've got to wear a mask. So apologize for that. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Alpaca was founded in 2015 by Ramiro Gomez and Jin Lee, who met while studying for their master's degrees. They launched on Kickstarter with a messenger bag and now have a large line of bags and accessories. The Bravo Sling Max is their 10th crowdfunding campaign and builds on the Bravo Sling design. Alpaca did provide this sling for this review, but I'm not being paid for the review and all thoughts and opinions are my own. The Bravo Sling Max is a 10 liter sling and weighs 1.5 pounds. It comes in two colors, the graphite gray, which I've got here, and then also in jet black. The gray is a 750D nylon and the black is a 1000D nylon. They use waterproof fabrics on this and the front compartment is RFID blocking. There's a EVA foam on the back to provide a little bit of cushion for when you're wearing it. And then the shoulder strap also has EVA foam. There's a D-ring at the bottom and so they have an optional stabilizer strap that you can use, which is helpful for if you're hiking or biking. On the front, you've got their logo, uh, black on black near the bottom here. You've got a USB access, uh, so you can have uh, like a charging battery on the inside of this and then plug your cable on the outside for charging your phone, which is helpful. And this opens up so you can store uh, SIM cards in here and they've got this little tool that you can use for getting the SIM card out of your phone. There are three compartments in the bag, uh, the front small pocket, the main compartment and a small uh, back pocket. The zippers to the front pocket and the main compartment uh, can lock shut, so they have loops where you can put a lock through. The back has a webbing handle that you can use to carry or as a pass-through for your luggage. Now on the shoulder strap, you can thread the webbing through here and actually take off the shoulder strap and then switch it to the other side based on whether you want to carry it over your left shoulder or your right shoulder. The back of the shoulder strap has this really cool EVA foam pattern to it and it's pretty comfortable. The outside of the strap has this webbing and there's actually four loops so you can use it for attaching things to the front. The buckle on the shoulder strap is a plastic Fidlock magnetic buckle. The bottom of the strap has a small tab which is, makes it easier for grabbing the bottom and tightening it. And then there's a strap keeper right here. So let me show you what it looks like wearing the bag. I am six foot three, 180 pounds. Let's get into the bag and before we do, I'd love for you to triple click for me. Click the like button, subscribe button, and ring that bell to check out all our future reviews. Thanks. I've got the bag fully packed right now, and so as we get into it, you'll be able to see my loadout. So let's start with this small front pocket. It is RFID blocking, which is helpful. And you've got this uh, blue ripstop nylon on the inside. This is a 210D, and that's on all the interior of the bag. There's a lot of organization going on in this small front compartment. You've got two pockets on the front side, two pockets on the back side, and a fifth mesh pocket. So I've got a carabiner in here. Um, my gum in a Klipsch earbud case, and a Mimo water bottle. This is the small A7 Mimo water bottle. And my car key is on this hub. Uh, when I travel, I leave all the rest of the keys in my car at the airport, and I only take my car key with me. The main compartment I've got pretty full here. This small Magpul case is really durable, and it's great for keeping your sunglasses. I've got this small bag from Dispatch that I'm using on this trip for my Western Rise Versa hat. Just bought some hot sauce in Austin, Texas for my son who loves hot sauce. So here you can see a little bit of the organization. I've got my laptop in the back and a few other items in the front here. This will hold up to a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is what I'm carrying. And the laptop sleeve is suspended and really soft on the inside. This TomTom -tom case I use for hard drives. I've got two uh, small crucial hard drives in here. My Able Carry Joey pouch, which has my candies inside. Track Dyneema small cube and I've got uh, cologne and lip balm and peace and calming oil. A Native Union iPhone cable for charging my phone. I've got this clip from the Alpaca hub system and so I can put the, the key on here. You can stick this on the outside of the strap um, or put it on your belt, whatever. And I actually have a review of the hub. I'll put a link to that below. So that's the inside. You've got these two organizer pockets on the front side and then the laptop sleeve pocket on the back. A decent amount of room. The back has a flat pocket that's really designed to be a tablet pocket. I've got my iPad Air 4 in here, uh, but it'll hold up to a 12.9 inch uh, tablet. 
You've got a little bit of organization on the inside. There's a, a decent sized pocket here and then three vertical pockets. So that's a review of the Bravo Sling Max. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to check out all of our future reviews. Thanks so much and take care.